guys, Coach Joe here. I'm back with Coach Tim talking about our third bench press fault that we commonly see relating to flaring of the elbows. So Coach Tim is going to lay back here. Typically when we see flaring of the elbows, it's coming from not squeezing and pulling the bar um, apart as much as we should. So he's going to start off here. He's going to be pulling the bar apart great on the way down. Nice good press from here, but then now he's going to loosen up in the hands and the elbows start to flare. Once we lose it, it's going to be really tough to regain it, so he's flaring pretty bad on the second rep, and he's going to go ahead and wrap it. So what we need on there is actually a pretty simple fix. If we're focusing on squeezing that bar and pulling the bar apart, we need to make sure that we're doing that on the eccentric portion of that motion as well as the concentric or on the downward and the upward phase. A lot of times people will get into the habit of they're doing great on the way down and then they relax and then they start to press and the elbows flare. This can really be a problem, especially when it talks about putting that kind of torque on the shoulder. So especially if you have any underlying shoulder uh, conditions or anything like that, flaring at the elbow is gonna be something that you really wanna avoid. So we're gonna make sure on the way down, we're squeezing and pulling the bar apart, as well as on the way up, squeezing and really pulling on that bar to be able to maintain um, that solid bench press bar path that we're looking for.